Monday commences with another round of GeoGuess. Geez, long pause for like no reason whatsoever. Anyway, I think I misspoke on last Friday, Monday's video, maybe even Fridays, I don't know, that um, since Monday is our uh, day for states in the U.S., I think I went from Idaho straight to uh, Kansas, and I kind of forgot a few states in between there. One of them being uh, today's, which is Illinois. Illinois. The very weird looking, almost like a shield state in the center of the U.S. Um, personally, have I been to... Mm, no, I don't think I've actually ever been to Chicago. I've flown over it. Look at this guy, is that some sweat? Can't tell. Got some Crocs on, nice. You got touching. Jack touching. So, um, I have very little personal anecdotes I can give about visiting the state because I've never been here. We're in a big distribution warehouse right now. Trying to find out exactly where our might be. Best guess is 90% of these are going to be in Chicago or around the Chicago metropolitan area. Uh, I think Chicago is third biggest um, city in the U.S. I'm probably wrong. Let, let's see. Um, I know it holds apparently at least 68% of the state's population, which is a lot. Meadowbrook Egg. Dearborn Marketplace. Hmm. Anyway. Let's do a quick little suds and service. You do some wet works, huh? Manitowoc, ice machine, sales and service. Okay, they're specifically for... Yeah, this, this seems to be a giant distro center. Um, good old Chicago. A massive, major um, city in the center of the U.S. A lot of people would call it the bellwether of the U.S. because it seems like a bit of a microcosm and you can kind of say that about really any um, city, at least in the U.S. Um, Chicago International Produce Market. Well, let's see if... I doubt that's going to show up anywhere. I don't think that that's a big enough like uh, tourist attraction to uh, get anybody to come in. Um, well, let's actually just do a few... Little facts about it, I guess. Illinois, the 21st state admitted to the United States of America, became a state December 3rd, 1818. It just had its bicentennial, well, two years ago at this point. I wonder if this, whatever the fuck that is outside, it's like sleet raining right now, but that sounded like a uh, snow plow and there's zero snow on the ground. Weird. Republic Services. Hmm, can't tell. Um, as I stated, you can kind of see where Chicago is in Illinois and where Illinois is in the U.S. It's right on the southern end of Lake Michigan. It's a huge um, natural harbor and actual harbor for most of the Midwest because you can get from to international ports, and I'm not just saying technically... U.S. to Canada is international. You can go from Lake Michigan through the Great Lakes, through the, uh, what is this, Richelieu, St. Lawrence River, out north that way. You can also do it through uh, the Mississippi down this way, and there's also like the Erie Canal that goes through a chunk of New York here. Um, it's a Midwest state, they call it that. It's more... Uh, west than mid, but what are you going to do? A uh, lot of former presidents were from here. You got Lincoln was born here. Ulysses S. Grant was born here. Uh, well, I was close. Oh, it does actually show up. How about that? In the heart of Chicago. Uh, Obama's from here as well. And here is the other part of Illinois. You basically have Chicago here. Springfield's the capital, by the way. And most of it, other than the city, is very much 
pretty much farmland, rural areas, a city here or there, but it's uh, northwestern CUSD. I feel like I should know. It's a school district, maybe? It could be like a, like a tiny van. Not a tiny van, a tiny school bus for a municipal, like a school district here. Um, back when I first thought that, excuse me, we were doing Kansas. This is basically a good hint as to what Kansas is. At least, if you were to talk to anybody who isn't from Kansas, maybe even some people from there as well, and you talked about Kansas, it'll just be cornfields and nothing else, flat and boring. But that's, well, why am I talking about that state when we're here in uh, Illinois? What else we got here? Anything of interest. It's the land of Lincoln. If you're not very much uh, aware or knowledgeable of a former U.S. president from a very long time ago, I very much understand. He's a pretty well-known person here. He's on our penny. Although nobody likes pennies. He's on that. He's on the... $5 bill, I very much don't use, like, paper money anymore, but yeah, he's on the 5. Um, he's, was the president during the Civil War for the North, and uh, if you're not entirely sure, the North did win. Although, don't tell the South that, ha 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 Scottyville? Scottville. Oh, Modesto. That should show up, I believe, shouldn't it? Let's take a look. I'm going to kind of just eyeball this from here. Hmm. He was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth, and if you're not very much aware of how uh, assassinators, whatever the hell, the people who kill or who assassinate, they usually have their name said completely, like all three, John Wilkes Booth, uh, John Wayne, well, no, that's John Wayne Casey, never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm drawing a blank right now because I'm trying to think of it, and it is not coming to mind, so I am going to shut up because I'm making a fool out of myself, but basically it's, the, it's serial killers and uh, assassinators usually have full names. First, middle, and last, or they have two first names and last. Anyway, he was killed, shot in, God, what was the name of the theater? I can't remember right now. Uh, this is all stuff that I very could easily remind myself, but he's a pretty well-known person in the United States lexicon. He's a president, all that stuff. Um, Scottyville, Modesto. I'm really hoping I can stumble across that here, but I don't think it's going to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I believe the way the state was quote unquote colonized by immigrants was it first happened a lot with farmland and then from farmland kind of moved towards Chicago and Chicago became super important after the invention of the plow, the mechan mechanical plow the hell is it? It's John Deere's thing. I wasn't that far off. Can I see Modesto anywhere here? I cannot. That's Forest, Fairbury, Chatsworth, Wing, Strawn. I don't even see it. Well, fine. Apparently I was that far away, and that's worth that little points. Fine. Whatever. Be that way, Illinois. Didn't want to see you anyway. This seems to be a suburb of a major metropolitan area. I can't tell yet, usually because there's these tiny houses. And then you got some apartments in kind of a main thoroughfare here with some bike lanes. A lot of printing company, interesting. Um, any other little factoids about Chicago? Um, there was a time, again, I am not entirely sure if it still exists. There was a lot of all that sense. Oh, it's oils. That looks like a butt plug. Why are you selling that with your sense? And a lot of gun deaths here homicides, murders. 
in this city. We got Jefferson Street. What's in your wallet? Oh, they want some Chicago polices, I believe. Chicago police. How about Chicago cops? I mean, that's a better word than Chicago polices. I'm kind of just looking around to see if I can't see any, um, like, little sign somewhere that says, like, this is a Chicago street or something. I have not seen it yet. This is a big, potentially one-way street. I'm guessing it is not coming into focus here. Oh, here we go. We, no, no, I wanted to be right here. We've got some historical information. Dan Fogelberg. Oh, shit. That's the thing we really don't have here in the, uh, in my state is any, why am I thinking, is that Dan Fogarty or Dan Fogelbert? I feel dumb now. Fogelbert is probably a way more popular person than Dan Fogarty. Sorry to any fans of Dan Fogarty. Fogarty? I, I'm, I'm feeling dumb right now. I thought these two people were horses just from the way the angle was. I think I really do need to get some glasses. Northeast Jefferson Ave. Doing a lot of construction here. I'm really hoping to see some info here to help me figure out exactly Keith Engineering Design. This is a snow route. Oh, you want to see some really wild photos. There's all um, a couple, maybe like five, close to ten years ago. No, I think it's maybe seven years ago. There was a huge snowstorm that just blew across. Um, I mean, granted, <clears throat> a lot of the times you're going to hear people talk about lake effect snow, especially where I live. Um, in the wintertime, when, like, weather fronts, I'm just going to say we're outside of Chicago right now just to not forget. Maybe we're up here. Um, when weather patterns go over the lake, the lake releases a bunch of moisture because of evaporation into the clouds, and maybe if it wasn't technically going to have snow or as much, going over the lake there, <clears throat> I gotta pause for a sec. Give me a sec. Um, okay, we're on pause. Um, it was gonna snow far much more just because of going over this the 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 lakes here, lake effect snow. Blah blah blah. You you hopefully I've explained something clear enough, or you're had very much enough knowledge to know it beforehand. But it's it's also called the Windy City. I believe it's on a I think most of the state's pretty flat. What's the tallest? Yeah, highest elevation is not even a mountain. It's called Charles Mound, which is only 1,235 feet. And thankfully, Wikipedia tells me that it's 376.4 meters high. That is nothing. Holy shit, we were in Peoria. I was way off. I didn't see anything. I just took a guess. So, fuck me. I'm going to do terribly, and it's just from thinking everything is Chicago. This is a nice potential. Yeah, this is a golf course. Let's see. Yeah, a windy city. There really isn't that much, really, to break up the wind, I guess, from elevation. The, it's a big, flat plane. Also, the buildings, the way they're designed. I'm just going to be stuck in suburbia here, hopefully getting out to a larger road, but it doesn't seem to be happening just yet. I uh, Hopefully, I'm going the right way to get out of here. I'm going to go to this intersection and take a look-see. Hmm. I'll head this way. Oh, I think I'm out. Mayfair, huh? No turn on red, school days when children are present. Don't tell me what to do. I want to see. Oh, you're going to blur it out on me, you son of a. Oh. Honorary Illini Boulevard. So. I'm going to probably get this wrong. Illinois is etymology. We're going to get that. It's a modern spelling for a French Catholic missionary who explores in the name of the Illinois Native Americans. Yeah, the Fighting Illini, which is a university here. They're pretty. Big. They used to be, they most colleges. They kind of go up and down as far as like sports prominence. I mean, that's kind of just how I international prep. That doesn't help me. 
kind of just how I pay attention to college sports teams when I really have nothing to do with them. Is, oh, Illinois was pretty good in football for maybe two years. Basketball was pretty good for a little while, too. And then they disappear. Champlain County. Oh, Champaign. Champaign, Illinois, which is where? Champaign. Here we go. I think we're going to see if I can't find a campus town. So, University of Illinois. So, we're down here, I believe. It's just knowing what street that is. So, I'm going to click around and see if I can't find it and maybe at least get one decent pick. Okay, we're, we're right near a highway, apparently. 57. Where's I-57? Over here and 72. So, we're actually over here then, huh? Or is this a road to a road? This we actually might have been around this golf course. I mean, there's we were right next to one. So let me head home and see if I can't get to an intersection. To further, okay, we've got Armory and McCur McKinley, West Armory, Russell, West Armory. Kibley, there's McKinley Ave. Okay, so we were actually... All right, I got 52 seconds to figure this out. We were on a T-section <clears throat> from Armory to McKinley, which is this one. So imagine this was rotated 180 degrees. So if I turn to the right, I'm actually going to the left. So we were like right there. I'm going to home and look at the other direction to see if I can't see how far away we are from another road. This road says James. This has to be James. It is. I think I nailed it. Give me 5,000 points, you sons of bitches. Okay. I'm taking umbrage. The last one. Out in the middle of nowhere. Anything else? Um, I've said this before in certain other photos that there's just images I can feel how hot it is. And this just looks like this photo was taken in the middle of June or July. And you just feel the heat radiating off this back street. Uh, I'm not going to probably be able to figure out where we are. I'm hoping to click fast enough to actually get off this side road to potentially... Fish and Wildlife Management Area. Okay, Illinois Department of Natural Resources, the Corps of Engineers, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. Doesn't help me, because I think this is a small enough little green area that you can see most of these green areas are parks, protected lands, quote-unquote, or public areas. Yeah, Hamilton County State and Fish Wildlife Area. I would be sitting here for a very long time just um, scanning between all these little green things and probably never actually being able to find it. So my rapid clicking continues. But if you're observant enough, um, when it comes to a lot of rural farmland areas like this, you're definitely going to see wow these all look pretty much the same and this is a sign for a specific um let me see if i can get this right it's it's this whenever you see these types of signs on farmlands for whatever's growing there it's a specific company with a specific um strain i think these are all soybeans of i guess soy in this instance to i guess test to see how they grow i believe that's what it is uh, i see it all the time up in these parts, mostly for corn. Oh, we've changed seasons. Maybe this will say where we are. It does not. That's just not a ground telephone wire, I believe. This is going to be rough. I don't know if I'm actually going to get here in time to find out where we are. And then every now and then you're going to see some potentially nice houses on in these very rural areas where a lot of farmers will sell off little plots of their farmlands just for houses because they make more money that way, I guess. So I don't know if I'm actually going to find any more 
demarcating points of interest on whatever fuck road this is. I'm hoping just to get to something to tell me. We've got Gilead's. Oh, that's a. I believe that's a um, type of furnace. And then we've got a pro life person here. Although, whenever you're driving on a road, you just see somebody in their lawn put that there. Okay, these are super far enough out in the middle of the woods that they are not labeling their street after names. They're just giving them Two Rivers National Wildlife Reserve. So, are we down here and back down? Cypress Creek. What is this? Why didn't you tell me what you are? I'm just assuming Two Rivers is down here because this is where it meets. I'm going to get such an awful score off this just because I don't know where this is. We're not over here. I got 15 seconds. We got Galena, but that's Gilead. I'm going to say we're down here just because I don't know else it would be. I'm going to click like here and get a terrible score, but again, I'm used to that. We are actually up here. Okay, two rivers. I, I can see that now. Oh well. We're on Mississippi River Road. Terrible score. Terrible round. Um, What are you going to do? It's uh, a state I'm very much not familiar with. I tried as best I can. And this is the result. Here we are. Monday done. Congratulations, you made it. Uh, I'm still a little up in the air whether or not I'm going to be doing any other extra videos this week. I might. Depends on how this day goes. I got a lot of stuff I got to get done today. So if I don't get to them, I hopefully understand my apologies. Anyway, that will not change the fact that GeoGuessr videos will continue to go out. So in the meantime, folks, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, along with any likes, favorite comments, or subscribes you want to put in the comments down below, go ahead and put them there. Uh, I am always very much recipient of uh, whatever. I'm very excited and hope to see if anybody has any other map suggestions, state suggestions, country suggestions, anything else you want me to do. If you want me to do another state again, I can do that. A little review, whatever. I can do cities, whatever you want. Any other games as well, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will probably do them. I don't know. Uh, but your Monday, beginning of your week, is officially started. And there's only a few more days left before the weekend hits. And it's over before you know it, but... Until next time, folks, have a good one. We will see you soon.